Thanks for joining us. I'm Tiffany Chan with the WBZ News Update. Our top stories. The Boston People's Reparations Commission is calling for white churches to support the fight for reparations. Clergy leaders from across the city gathered yesterday asking the religious community to atone for black Boston suffering. The commission also followed up on their demand for $15 billion, $5 billion for cash payouts, another five for financial institutions, and the last five for addressing the education achievement gap. A bomb threat forced the Reading Public Library to close yesterday as they were preparing for a pride event. The threat was sent in an email. The state police bomb squad conducted a sweep and found no threats to the public. Police think it was an attempt to disrupt the pride event held at the library yesterday. So far, no arrests have been made. The library will be back open today. And Route 495 in Westford is open this morning after thousands of pineapples littered the road yesterday. A tractor trailer on the northbound side rolled over, spilling the fruits onto the roads and into the woods nearby. Two lanes of the highway were closed while teams cleared the scene. Now let's get a check of our forecast with meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff. And it's drying out out there, Jacob, but it is cold. Yeah, definitely a chilly start. We do have dry weather in the forecast for the day today, holding on to some cloud cover south and east of Boston, kind of pesky kind of uh, stubborn clouds, but we will see some sunshine for the day today. Certainly brighter skies than what we saw yesterday with the system departing the area. We're going to hold on to a bit of a breeze too. It's going to feel more like the 30s at times for today. So our hour by hour forecast takes us into the upper 30s and low 40s. There will be some clouds around for Boston and right along the coastline. The farther west you go, the more sun you'll see back into the 20s and low 30s for tonight and tomorrow. We're back into the low 40s, partly sunny, but once again, staying on the breezy side of things. Here's the seven day forecast staying with the 40s Sunday, Monday and Tuesday back into the 50s Wednesday through Friday, but that's also going to be our best chance for rain. Tiffany. All right, Jacob. Thank you. I'm Tiffany Chan and this has been a WBZ News update. Have a great Sunday, everyone.